your blood pressure is um, is high, slightly high. But there's no cause for alarm. All you just need to do is watch it. Meanwhile, have you been involved in any strenuous activities lately? Yes, elections. Elections are around the corner and I've been very busy running around to make sure that my party wins. But I have never known you to be a politician. Uh, doctor, you, doctor. <laughs> you know I'm all around that. I do all kinds of business so long as they will bring in money. <laughs> Politics as I know it is a means to service, not a money-making venture. You are wrong, doctor. You see, politics is the best business in this country. Now, do you know I am the campaign manager for my zone? And I know how much I've earned, you know, campaigning and mobilizing people to join our party. So, what's the name of your party? CICP. Chop, I chop party. It's the winning party now, doctor. The winning party. You need to join this party. If you chop, me I chop, you chop. <laughs> Everybody chop. And what makes you think that that's... Um... The winning party. Because we know the rules of the game. Politics in this country is like uh, the kingdom of God that suffered violence. And only the violent take it by force. We have the strategies to ensure that we get into power, whether people like it or not. It sounds to me like your party is ready to rig the elections. Uh -uh. Rigging is the dictionary word for it. In our party, we call it winning by all means. Anyhow. <laughs> Yeah. Mr. Kaffo. Yes, Doctor. That is criminal. A man who is go in, going into politics for service need not make it a do or die affair. Yes, unfortunately, do or die is the pattern of politics in this country and there's nothing anybody can do about it. After all, how many people are aspiring to be leaders just because they want to serve? There are lots of credible and trustworthy individuals who, when voted for, can make this country a better place and transform it. Uh, doctor, see, it's not about individual candidates, but about people around them, their godfathers and advisors. Even as an individual candidate, you have good intention, but you must not disrespect your godfathers and you must do exactly what they say, or else you'll be impeached. Doctor, politics in this country is complicated. Let's talk about my blood pressure, which is even more complicated. How do I control it? Hey, my beautiful ah. North City. You were not here when I came. So I decided to let the doctor attend to me. Oh, I see. Oh, I was actually busy inside. Ah, yeah. well, the doctor said I should give this to you. Okay. Ah, your blood pressure is high. What have you been doing with yourself lately? Politics. Politics. You see, I'm the campaign manager for CICP in my zone. So the stress of trying to get people to join my party has been so much. What is CICP? I'm just hearing that. It's a winning party. Chop, I chop party. Whether we campaign or not, whether people vote for us or not, all we know is that we must win the election. That sounds like rigging. No, we call it winning by all means. And it doesn't matter if one wins through rigging or by people's votes. What's important is that one wins. Mr. Kafo, mm -hmm. why would you not mind if the wrong person is voted in to power as your leader? Don't you take it to affect the country as a whole? Or even you as an individual? No, let me tell you people what you don't know. You see, Nigeria is the funniest country in the world politically. It's in this same country that two governors from different states were announced as the wrong persons uh, for the governorship post. After they have been sworn in and have ruled off for many years old, what does that tell you about our electoral system? Let me tell you something, Mr. Kafo. There might be certain loopholes or some flaws in the system, but we just have to continue to make the country a better one, where only people with interest to serve the country should be voted in as leaders. Forget that thing. Eh? Vote does not count in this country. Yeah. Getting into power is a gain for the strong and those that are well connected. Have you ever had a slang, uh, even before election, you've been voted in? That is the pattern in this country. I think it's high time every individual should begin to, you know, pursue his or her own personal gain. Because as for me, I'm going to explore every means to acquire as much personal gain as possible. Mm. And while you're at it, don't forget that you're destroying this country in the process. And the masses are the ones that are going to suffer for this. And while they are praying for those who are making it right, they're at the same time praying and cursing those who are not making it right, one way or the other. And you and your generations will suffer for hey, this. Why are you cursing me now? What has my generation got to do with this issue? Have you not heard if you can't beat them, you join them? Or you expect me to be a saint in a country where everyone is pursuing his or her own personal gain? No, 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 no. Not everyone is determined to ruin this country. I might agree with you if you tell me a large number of people who are after getting into power are selfish. But that still doesn't justify your joining them. No, City, don't persuade him. 
All I know is whatsoever you sow, that you will reap. Whosoever sows evil will reap evil. And everyone that has a hand in destroying this country directly or indirectly will suffer. And the generations to come will suffer. Enough! I don't want to talk about politics again. Go get me my drugs. Okay. Everyone that has evil intention to rig this oncoming election will not succeed. And everyone that has personal gains to the detriment of this great country will suffer. And your generations hey! will suffer. Hey! It's okay. I said I don't want to talk about it again. What in? What? Stop it, okay, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Huh? You'll be election. I'm still trying to study the parties and analyze their past records. That will help me decide which party to vote for. Mm. What about university? Me? Ha! I've not even thought about that at all. Though. though I've been seeing different campaigns on TV and hearing different promises as usual, but I just don't seem to have faith or believe in any of the parties. That's why I said I would choose my candidate based on their past record and not their promises. Because whoever has been given opportunity and did not live up to his words will definitely not get my vote. Once beaten, twice shy. I think we are our own problems in this country. Because we all know the only time we can impact change and achieve whatever it is we want is before these people are placed into power. But we all act as if it's none of our business. And when the wrong person is being put in power, we all start complaining of bad leadership. And there are some people who will just cast their vote foolishly and selfishly. I don't know why some people have refused to realize that voting the wrong person into power is just being an archetype to one's problem. I don't know. I think greed is the only thing that will make one sell one's vote to the wrong person. Yes, greed and lack of love for one's country and the generation unborn. Okay. God will intervene in this oncoming election. Anyone with evil intention will either change or not get there in Jesus' name. Amen! We'll make her tell you. As you see me like this, eh? Now money are they fine. Mm -hmm. And now any news you wear, not go bring money. And no one know. This one will give you money, it will give you food. Serious? Oh, for serious to worry me. Obeliki, the secular way they look now, don't turn politics And I go like make you to conjure our party. Ah, and that one go come give me money now. Hey, Otunbele, no worry. I go explain now for you. You see, for our party, we they go meeting every Wednesday and Friday. Mm. And every time when we go meeting, then go see money, then go see raw rice, beans, semo, ilubo, go that they go see by themselves. Hey. Ah, why then they see money and food like that? Then they do party. Say being a MA people, they call them political party. Every meeting where we go, it be like party. Ah, when they go see food stuff, then go see money. Piliki, now three months now we are done join that party, we are done the go meeting. If you see the plenty food where I don't collect, very soon I go see open restaurants business, where I go they sell food. Ah, secular, you know be good friend. Uh -uh. Ah. So you don't know about this thing since now now you can't tell me. Eh, yeah, be the thing say maybe you no go get interest. Say be now last week when we go meeting. Now then say make we invite more people. Say a lesson don't risk. Now make me come tell you. I be I do bad to you. Ah, hey, now when we na go go the meeting again. If I do one day me meeting day to day by four o'clock for evening. Ah, four o'clock. Ah, I go they do work for that oh. time. I no go fit come. You no go fit take excuse from doctor. Make you tell and say you want us risk somewhere. Hey, Billy key. Opportunity in La Lele, you. This one a very big opportunity. If you be said that the only opportunity where you go get to take soft on the national cake, then be this one, you. Okay, I go think of something. Yeah. When you don't reach time, make you come call me. Yeah. I go come follow you. Go make you don't ready before I come home. Because oh. I no go like late with meeting Rara. I no want miss from the food store and the money where they go sell to do. I go down ready. Believe me, make you don't ready, you. I go down ready. Make I no go for that. And say make I see you off. No, don't worry. Order, bye bye. bye. Ah. Um, this coming election is going to be a great one. And I've made up my mind to be fully involved. I'm the assistant head of campaign team in my school. And I've been moving around town since last week with my team, campaigning strongly for my party. Hmm, that's good. What's the name of your party? PIP, People's Interest Party. And sister me, these politicians have money, oh. If I told you how much they gave to the head campaign manager in my school, you will be shocked. John, why did you choose this party out of the numerous political parties we have? The party seems to be the richest party out of other parties. And they have more than enough money to throw around. No, that's not enough reason for you to join, vote or campaign for a party. It's wrong. 
You should not join vote or campaign for a party because you think the party is rich or for your personal gains. So, what are we supposed to do it for? Patriotism, the general interest of the citizens of the country. Listen, you should join a party and vote for a candidate because you know that the candidate can deliver. Those that we thought could deliver in the time person we voted for, didn't they disappoint us? It's understandable that some of our trusted leaders have betrayed the confidence and trust we have in them. It's not enough reason for you to just give up on your country. It's our country and it can only become what we make of it. Anyway, I'm just using this opportunity to tell you to please vote for our party in this coming election. Here's our flyer. We are the winning party. No city. Jane, are you working for your money? Or is it because you're certain this person is the right candidate? Well, to be honest with you, I'm just looking for my money. Say, make I can't tell you, say, eh, eh, Biliki, say what you want to say. I'm, I'm very busy. I say, make I can't tell you, say, eh, person come, can't tell me, say, my mom is sick. I say, make I can't tell you, say, I go come close, quick, quick for work. Make I go second. Sorry about that, okay? You did not fidget if you want to take permission from me to go and see your mom who's ill. Is this something serious? Eh, me, I never know. Now, when I reach there, I could know. Just make sure you bring her back here for proper care, okay? Just in case it is a serious thing, all right? All right. And before you leave, tell the nurses, okay? Just in case I need them to do something while you're away. Okay, okay? All right. Thank you, sir. I go inside, I go like just now. Eh? Why I go to say my mama is sick? What if she can't sick through through? Ah, I don't get sense at all. Though. Eh? Why not think of another thing? Why be saying that kind of bad life can't go to? Ah, ah, my mama no go sick in Jesus name. I reject it in Jesus name. She no go sick. No really? sick. Hmm? Ah, what are you rejecting in Jesus name? No, nothing. <laughs> Nasabi, I beg. I be one come tell you and say I go soon close. I don't go meet the doctor. He say make her go. <laughs> Get where important where I won't go. Why is that? Um, now my mama, I won't go second. What's wrong with her? Nothing. I just won't go second. Nothing is wrong with her. You just want to close early and go and see her. Eh, hey, since there's nothing wrong with her, you can go and see her after work now. Eh, hey, hey, she's sick. Now you make me one close, can't go second. I thought you just said nothing was wrong with her. No problem. You can go. We'll help you do whatever it is you have to do. I saw her mopping the corridor not long ago. Don't worry, sit down. She'll be out soon. Ah, who knows? Me, I no go fit sit down with for her I beg, wait, help me go tell her say I don't come. Me, I go leave her and they go to the meeting. She no come out now. You guys are going for a meeting together? Yes, now. And I me, mean, I don't tell her say me see ready before I come. Because me, I no go like to lose from the money and the food stuff. So then go see her today. I beg, help me go tell her say I don't come. I be see no one go again. Ah. What kind of meeting are you guys going for that you're expecting them to give you food and money? money? Political party meeting, of course. And I don't tell her since morning, say, Messi, take a skills from doctor. And Messi, do her work, yak yak, before I come. Ah, see, you see, you don't come. Billy Key, eh? why you they behave like this? Eh? Yeah. Say, be, I tell you, say, make you don't ready before I come. Ah, I don't ready now. Eh, say, be now, ordinary floor, I just go clean. Oh, yeah, make you they go. Now, see, see, bye bye, you. Billy Key, come back here. Come back. Where are you going? Ah, ah, say, be, I don't tell you that one before now. I say, my mama, sick, I won't go second. I see. Sikira, where are you guys going? Meeting Jewel. I don't tell you I said a political meeting with the girl. Ah, 
Biliki, why did you lie to us? Eh, I make an office. Eh, I know say if I tell you I say I won't go by a political meeting, when I feel angry, now make me lie for now. Why did you lie to us? Asikira said you guys are going there because they will share food stuff and money. And I saw tell me, eh, I can't see say now my opportunity be this. Now make me say make I follow and go. So you don't know if the political party is a good one or if it has anything good to offer to this country. No. Now it concerns us whether the party gets good thing to offer to the country. Eh? My own to go for meeting. And for meeting then go south, PIP, me I go south, progress. BIP, progress. And once meeting finish like that, then go see money, then go see food stores. Me I go collect my sale, go my house. And if I less on risk, if I like, I vote. If I know like, I stay for my house. What both of you don't know is more than what you know. Let's educate you about the integrity, the service, and the importance of ensuring you vote for the right political party. We'll not say leave that one now. Make we first go collect uh, the money and the food. And then if you come back, you come the lecture off. Oh, yeah. Beleke, come back here. If you dare step out of this reception, our personal report is rejected that you lied about your mother's health. Try me. And you, Sikira. So you're one of the people contributing to the downfall of this country. You don't care about the future of the country. You only care about your personal gain. You're a wicked, selfish, and heartless person. The future of our great nation begins from today. We all must ensure that we contribute our own quota, no matter how little, to ensure that we make this great nation a better place to live in. And it starts from making whosoever we want to vote for realize we are more concerned about the betterment of our country and the citizen as a whole. Yes, and we have to put away every act of greed. Yes, we must make them realize they cannot buy our conscience. And we're not going to sell our votes for money. And foodstuffs. We should be concerned about the well-being of our great nation. No more time for politics of religion. And ethnicity. Or mediocrity. It's time to vote based on competence. And the ability to deliver. And the ability to serve. It's time to rise and make our day country great again. And it begins with you and I. Yes, yes it, it begins, begins with you and I. No, sis, you are lying. Our politicians and actors are supposed to be. Ah, ah. Unasabi talk like them, oh. Ah, for a meeting. I thought they speak big, big grammar. Yeah, well, I only Thank you, Nostis. Thank you so much for your lecture. You are Oh, Billy, go to where? Our meeting, of course. We don't even need self. By now, they're going on the same money and food stuff. So, after all our long speech and patriotism and self esteem, you still want to go and collect food stuff and money? Billy, me, I no go let you take your yahoo to spoil my own apalao. As you see me so, I go ahead and go so. Nos, thank you for doing this. Ah. Ah. Eh, not true, not talk. I no go go the meeting again. Because of ordinary money and food stuff. Ah, it's not good make person say in fault because of money and ordinary food stuff. That's the spirit. That is what is called great sense of self-worth. Yes. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Ah, yes. Good girl. Eh, I want to say, I want to say, I want to say, Mm -hmm. I won't go buy something fast. I will go soon come back. All right. All right. Come back quick. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is you. No, wow. Wait, wait. Are you people thinking what I'm thinking? <gasps> Billy! <laughs>